it's our morning here in Uganda. So good morning everyone. My name is Kretendo Irene. I was a former housemaid in Saudi Arabia. The reason why I'm making this video it is that I'm going to the hospital. This is my fourth time to go to the hospital because when I was still in Saudi Arabia I got a lot of injuries and I got a lot of diseases. So if you are housemaid in Saudi Arabia, maybe in Dubai, maybe somewhere abroad, this video is for you. You can watch my video, this one, so that you know what is taking place when you come back to Uganda or in your other countries, or maybe Philippines, Indonesia, any, if you're housemaid, you know what I'll be talking about. It is my fourth time and I'm going to the hospital and I decided to share this journey with you guys. For you who have been following me for a long time, you know that I was once a housemaid in Saudi Arabia and I came back. It is now four months ever since I came back to Uganda. But in those three months, I have never been healthy. I have been sick. I have been sick throughout from my head to toe. First of all, I'm going to show you a video where I went to the dentist. Guys, I don't mean that I was not brushing my teeth, no. But maybe because we consume a lot of sweets there and a lot of so many things because I, they emphasize a, a lot of healthy hygiene. I, I mean, you have to brush your teeth and again, you use a, a, a mouth rinse. You know, there is restaurant. I used to use all that. I used to use the best toothpaste. But when I came back to Uganda, my teeth was sick and I went to the hospital and they extracted one teeth, another one was cemented and I still have to go to do other teeth, to do other teeth in the, to the dentist. And also I was sick, even when I was still in Saudi Arabia, I got sick. When I went to the hospital, they told me it is muscle strain. I was sick here on this side and also here. And even still now, I still feel pain. I feel as if I have fever and I don't know. And that is why I'm going to the hospital today, guys. I want you to go with me. I have been preparing myself. Walk this journey with me and also take caution to your life. If you don't take caution when you come back or when you go back to your country, endeavor to go to the health facilities so that they work upon you. Me, I have never been health ever since I came back. You remember even I made a video when I was very sick, severely sick. And this is my other video to show you. I'm sure my journey because maybe there is someone else who may want to know this, but I'm not healthy at all. So I'm heading to the hospital with you guys so that I know what is, what, what's disturbing my life. First it was muscle strain, second teeth, and I have been having flu throughout. And right now I feel as if I have fever, as if I have malaria, the pain is all over my body. But when I went to the hospital, they told me it is not malaria. So now it is time to go and check again. So guys, come with me to go to the hospital with you guys and we'll see what is next. I have prepared my bag, have seen what is in my bag. So I'm going to the hospital, guys. If you haven't subscribed, guys, you are missing a lot. Subscribe, get subscribed, hit the post notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And also, Give this video a like and also comment down below. Has it ever happened to you? Have you ever worked as a housemaid when you went back to your country and then you became sick all the time? When you, and previously, before you went to that country, we are here right because now I was here right before I went to Saudi Arabia. But right now, I don't know, guys. So, guys, get subscribed. Your subscription is so important to me. And also comment, give this video a like. Please follow this journey together guys so i'm going today it is early morning it is about i'll check i, I put the time there but it is around eight o'clock in the morning i'm heading there to the hospital <laughs> Thank you. 
case you are wondering this is the means of transport which I'm going to use to go to the hospital uh, here in Uganda you have to bargain to bargain before you buy anything or before you pay for anything because if you don't pay if you don't bargain you are going to be overcharged so I was in a small meeting with a border border man um, on the prices guys yes so we came to the conclusion and headed to the hospital and you can see me heading to the hospital right there hospital if that this is serious but if it isn't serious I'll just continue with their medication but if it is serious I will go to the private hospital in this government hospital you have to come with this small book where they write all, all the information about the illness you have so this is the hospital right here yes guys let's go and find out what I'm suffering uh, since this is a sensitization video, I will give a background of this disease first. I first had this disease when I was still in Saudi Arabia. I had when my chest, the right side, was paining me the ribs and also on the neck and the shoulder only that side and it used to get me to feel sick and when i went to king carried international hospital in saudi arabia they told me that it is muscle strain and the doctor explained to me that it is due to doing the same thing every day every day that is why my muscles were paining me that is why my limbs were paining and i thought it was because of earning a lot of clothes and also uh, mopping a lot because i was mopping four floors plus a beach on weekends i was mopping a beach beach house and during these other days i was supposed to mop four floors plus two compounds because the house was so big and also earning every day and also folding the clothes earning was every day and there were a lot of clothes guys so i think it was due to that according to the doctor's explanation that it is due muscle strain was caused due to doing the same thing every day and the doctor told me to stop getting this pain i have to stop being that what i was doing at that time and it was impossible because i was still hustling looking for a better future but the good thing the doctor told me it wasn't so so it wasn't so so serious and they took me into the x-ray and they showed me everything my organs in the body the heart the chest the river and everything they were so good at that and i came out when i was really satisfied they gave me the medicine but the medicine was working less on me guys before all that before going to saudi arabia i was really a strong black african woman i don't remember the time i went to visit the doctor yes i don't remember maybe my mom took me to the took me to the doctor when i was young but i i couldn't remember the last time maybe i went to the hospital was to give birth but due to sickness no so i think i have given that information for sensitization so right here i'm at the hospital and the doctor explained to me also a lot and i went into a scan they told me this is a scan and i was checked so i'm going to 
give the conclusion at the end of this video i'll be giving the conclusion what the doctor have really found out here in uganda so guys endeavor to subscribe if you are still watching this video endeavor to subscribe also give this video a like and a comment let me know what you think about this and also if you're a housemate maybe any worker somewhere please take caution of your life or seek medical attention because for me when they told me it is muscle strain something simple i ended there because i knew when i finish working there i'll get back to normal which is not the case this is my fourth time in the hospital but good enough they told me the real real problem so guys let me review to watch the video peace free i love you continue watching and also take caution almost a full day in the hospital and on my way guys let me show you what I have brought I have brought some greens we call this nakati in our local language here in Uganda and also some okra in Uganda I call it bamia so I have got a chance in the hospital and I have just check the wall of my body. They have checked my kidney. They have checked my kidney. They have checked my river. They have checked the uterus and also the wall body. And I have been diagnosed with muscle strain. Muscle strain, what? Should I say hi to the camera? Hi! <laughs> this is my daughter. Also, my daughter is supposed to come back from school at one exactly but i have brought them just in the evening so guys i was still telling you that i have been diagnosed with muscle strain muscle strain i don't know how to explain it to you but i think you can google but it is right here that is what i have been told by the doctors and also ulcers and i'm very happy that i have known what is triggering my life what is happening in my life so that is it so if you are there you are abroad you are somewhere when you come back to your country or when you go back to your country endeavor to go for medical checkup endeavor to take care of your health so that is it i'm going to buy some medication because i told you that i'm from a government hospital so i have to buy the medication from the pharmacy so i'm going to buy and start the medication Thank God that the illness is not so serious. Thank you guys and never subscribe on my YouTube channel. 
and also give this video a like and also comment in the comment section let us let us interact guys yeah that is it i have told you what i have been diagnosed with so and also if i forget and also i have been recommended some exercises so i'm going to start those exercises with you guys i do those exercises with you guys so that my muscles may come to normal again so i have been recommended some exercises and also antibiotics yeah